Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Seller 7 channel. Sister Barbara here, Brother Dan. He's got the, I called the humdinger prophecy here. And uh, join me in Revelation. going to be Revelation uh, chapter 8. Uh, let's see, verse 1. And then I'm going to read the trumpets. When he opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense, that he should offer it up with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, with the prayers of the saints, ascended before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thundering, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first trumpet, vegetation struck. Second trumpet, the sea struck. Third trumpet, the water struck. Fourth trumpet, the heaven struck. Fifth trumpet, the locust from the bottomless pit. And the seventh trumpet, in the day of the sounding of the seventh angel, when he is about to sound, the mystery of God would be finished as he declared to his servants, the prophets. Wow. Wow. Wait till you hear the prophecy. Glad to be here again on God's Healer 7. I got a word from January 26th of 2013. Speak, son of man. Speak now this day of the time of the trumpets. Speak of the glorious one. Shall I not reveal my majesty in these latter days? Have I not seen man's indifference to my will? Look around, son of man, and see all. For in the twinkling of an eye, it shall be no more. Shall my patience be seen as weakness? Do I not measure your worth in obedience to my will? Shall I not speak of the powers that be? It is I who sits on the throne of judgment. It is I who created life. It is I who know all, and what I speak is. Shall man continue to turn his back on their deliverer? The seeds of your destruction have been planted. It is this evil generation that shall reap its bitter harvest. They shall consume my bowls of wrath. Their thirst shall be bitter, for they have consumed an evil fruit. Shall my breath of fire not awaken them to their transgressions against me? You shall see signs in the skies, for what shall follow will be sudden destruction. Amen. Wow, that's a fiery message. I know I have one out there, which I don't even remember what it is. I know it's called the breath of fire, and I think it comes from the desert, the fire. Yeah. So again, we're calling all sinners, all unsaved, uh, all unbelievers to repentance. And uh, we're asking everyone out there to do whatever you need to do to spend eternity with the Lord. Repent, be baptized in the name of Jesus. You'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read the book of Acts and get more understanding on that, Acts 2.38. And I'm calling, uh, proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23rd, 2015, Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. This is a fiery message. We have several sudden destruction ones out there. We have several twinkling of an eye out there. This is the first one that we have saying this day of the time of the trumpets. So get ready. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Brother Dan. Uh, thank you all of my friends and subscribers out there. Have a blessed and safe day today. Amen. Shalom.